Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we will look at the history of French weather modification activities. France is, as far as I know, the first country to carry out science-based weather modification attempts. The term science-based is used here as a comparison to pseudo-fringe activities attempted before the 1900s such as rain dancing or other claim techniques that involve humans commanding the weather to change. Some of the early information in this video was also featured in the Italian video summary with regard to French activity. It is important to note that anti-hail projects were and are being carried out in the Alpine regions in various countries as a measure to avoid damage to grapevines. In other words, where the modification is being carried out, so wine producers can produce and sell their products. Anti-hail sound cannons and cloud seeding using cannons. Keep in mind these are early attempts at modifying the weather. And sound cannons are described in our current times as crude, early, pseudoscientific attempts at weather modification. That statement works if you ignore modern versions of the technique. In Mexico in August 2018, farmers accused the vehicle manufacturer Volkswagen, VW, of altering the weather. VW had installed hail cannons at its Puebla production facility which fire shockwaves into the atmosphere, to prevent the formation of hailstones, to prevent damage to new vehicles. So the technique is still being used, 250 years after France was initiating its use. The pseudoscientific claim doesn't have much value, except for disinformation objectives. The 1700s The concept of hail suppression and experiments related to it, dates back to 1760 with projects being carried out in 1769 in France. The professor of physics and meteorology, F. Houdai, at the National School of Agriculture in Montpellier, France, published a paper in 1901, Paris, titled, Les Orges et Grilles et la Terre des Canons, Hailstorms and Cannon Firing, in which it was stated a French physicist from Jaca, proposed in 1760 in an article inserted in the Encyclopédia. The installation of firing stations to fight against storms of hail and, Arago reports, in his memoir on the thunder, published around 1769, that the Marquis de Chevreuse, on his property in Voronard, Macone, was burning each year, 100 to 150 kilograms of mine powder to defend against hail. At the beginning of the 19th century, several communes of Macone, Voronard, Aise, Romanesh, and Flory, employed mortars with a load reaching 500 grams of powder, to ward off hail. This custom has survived, to 1901 when the paper was published, in some localities in the same region, but in the state of isolated shots on certain points of the vineyard. The practice, that was started in the 1760s, was used for 140 years, up to and surpassing the 1901 publication of, Les Orges et Grilles et la Terre des Canons. The 1900s. The Agence France Press, the French press agency, in association with the Wine Searcher website, published an article in September 2013 titled, Cloud Seeding Drifts from Beijing to Burgundy, which should create a red flag due to referencing China. The China does it, so it is okay for us to do it rhetoric is obvious. The China Russia bad, the West is good, neuro-linguistic programming method, is a commonly found dogma in the world of weather and climate modification. China has been modifying its weather since 1958, 200 years after France started. The AFP article contradicts itself and the AFP itself has a fact-checking publication department. Claiming in 2013 that cloud seeding is being done in China and is coming to France is disinformation. The illustrations, which are old paintings, associated with the AFP article, which are copyrighted to Roger Violet, the AFP and Leemage have this accompanying description, the illustrations show Bugelet's vinerins using cannon circa 1900, as an early form of cloud seeding to prevent hail-damaged vines. Further into the article China is referenced as an information point, the Chinese government used cloud seeding, to clear the air over Beijing during the 2008 Olympics and now, Burgundy producers are considering adopting the technology. That is a clear statement that it is not happening in France as per 2013 and requests for it to be introduced in 2014 are based on China's usage of the technology in 2008. In the same article the deputy chairman of the Burgundy Wine Board, 
Michel Baldassini states in the 2013 article that, cloud seeding is already used in the south of France, though the cost is high. So, Burgundy area wine producers want to introduce cloud seeding, as China used it at the 2008 Olympics and not because it is already being used, according to the deputy chairman of the Burgundy Wine Board, in the south of France, just down the road. It is worth considering why the AFP and wine searcher outlets would take such a twisted approach to informing people on what is happening and has happened. Such contradictory statements only serve to confuse the reader about the truth. 1954, a 2022 UK Freedom of Information request, included an unpublished paper, prepared by H. W. L. Absalm, which was, a paper of the Meteorological Research Committee, MRC, London. Written in February 1954. The MRC was part of the Air Ministry, the UK's MOD. The paper titled, Artificial Production of Precipitation, contained this statement by Absalm. Some reports of cloud seeding in other countries are available, e.g., Canada, France, India, Israel, South Africa and the UK, but are not considered to contain information which adds materially to that given in this memorandum which is more evidence on French activity. 1969, the propane method is, in 2023-24, resurfacing with both the United States and Iran, claiming to have recently invented it. Both countries are lying about that as it has been around for decades. A United States Air Weather Service, AWS, technical report, number 177, published in September 1969 and authored by Herbert S. Appleman titled, An Introduction to Weather Modification, States Ground-Based Systems, Using a Network of Fixed Propane Dispensers, are under test by the AWS and one such network is in operational use, at Orly Airport in France. 1988-1995, the American Meteorological Society in its, Journal of Applied Meteorology and Climatology, Volume 37, Issue 12, published a paper in December 1998, written by Jean Dessens titled, A Physical Evaluation of a Hail Suppression Project with Silver Iodide Ground Burners in Southwestern France, where it is clearly stated, in the first sentence of the abstract, that, the large-scale hail prevention program operated by, the Association National d'Etudes de Lutte contre les Flots, Atmospherics, and Nelfa, in Southwestern France, combines the seeding of hail clouds by a network of silver iodide ground generators. The introduction of the paper goes further, stating, the scientists responsible for operational programs have reported successful results of hailstorm seeding from aircraft, Rudolph et al. 1994, Smith et al. 1997, from rockets, Missinger and Missinger 1992, Simonov 1996, and from the ground, Dessens 1986. Although the success and outcomes of those operations were judged by hail damage insurance claims and not actual meteorological data. According to the WMO in 1996, the usage of insurance data to confirm success in hail suppression operations should be seen as an invalid method. It is also stated in the abstract of that AMS paper that during the years 1988 to 95, 630 point sized Hailfalls were recorded on 53 hail days with seeding, which, with reconsidering the 2013 AFP article, should show clearly that introducing weather modification as something new, in France, for the 2014 growing season is a factual inaccuracy. 2016, in September 2016, the PRI which is now called The World, Outlet, which according to their website is Public Radio's longest-running daily global news program published an article by Adeline Sire titled, French Chablis makers can't take another tiny harvest. So they're bringing in anti-hail cannons, which again confirms that France is modifying its weather so that alcoholic beverages can be produced and sold. This is not just historically a factual statement, but it is also happening during the climate crisis, where extreme weather events are occurring. The climate crisis is blamed for forest fires in southern Europe, whilst at the same time, Southern European countries are redistributing atmospheric moisture to wine-growing regions, causing drought in other areas due to the lack of atmospheric moisture. The article by Sire labels cloud seeding along with some pretty wild weather contraptions and claims the wine importer Macphail is dubious about the technology, 
which itself is a dubious statement, based on the global usage of cloud seeding and France's weather modification history. The article states further that 40 cannons, ground-based generators, will be set up in the Chablis area in 2017, which will spray, or disperse, silver iodide into storm clouds. The same information was reported by the UK's wine-specific trade news outlet Harper's in October 2016. 2017, the rewriting of French weather modification history continued in April 2017, with an article published by NetWeather TV. The author Nick Finner states, in the first sentence of his article, in regard to cloud seeding in France that, vineyards in Burgundy in eastern France, will be the first in the country, to be extensively protected by a shield, to help mitigate against damaging hailstorms. You will know, from what you have already seen in this summary, of French activity, that the author of, the NetWeather TV article, is making false claims and basic research would have informed the author, of the reality of what he is talking about in 2017. Nick Finnis, who is the senior forecaster for NetWeather and really should be more informed, on what he is talking about, refers in his article to articles, that were published in April 2017, in the UK's Telegraph and Daily Mail to back up his false claim. 2021, the Global Wine Journal, Wine Anorak published an article, based on facts, in January 2021, but that did not end the rewriting of French weather modification activity, as a 2022, France 24 article will show. The Wine Anorak article from 2021 states, last week, the 27th of January, 2021, the wine growers of saint Emilion decided to implement a joint hail defense network that will cover 7,500 hectares, involving some 900 growers. The system is sailorous, and it involves a radar to detect potential hail clouds, and then a series of 37 launches. These release helium balloons that get sucked up by the updrafts and then at the right altitude, release 200 grams of calcium chloride to act as a nucleating agent. Those of you that follow the climate modification subject area will recognize this cloud seeding method now being trialed under the geoengineering umbrella term from papers and activities published by David Keith and also activities by companies such as Make Sunsets and the Stratospheric Particle Injection for Climate Engineering, SPICE, project. The previously mentioned Anelfa is also referenced in the Wine Anorak article. Anelfa is a non-profit organization that began in the 1950s that studies and prevents hail in France. 2022, back to how it is all China's fault and how France is new to the activity, France 24 published an article in August 2022 titled, Can Technological Fixes Solve France's Water Crisis Amid Record Droughts? Anyone who has a basic understanding of atmospheric moisture redistribution knows, the main consequence of weather modification, is that it causes drought in the areas that have had their atmospheric moisture removed or redistributed to another area. California, for hydropower, Canada, for insurance claim mitigation, and Queensland, Australia, for hydropower, are good examples of this, but there are also other examples. Another example of a consequence is extreme snow rain hail events are seen in Pakistan and the UAE just to name two more countries, of which there are many. The France 24 article is interesting, as each topic mentioned, gets its own bullet point headline, except for weather modification, which is under the headline, moving icebergs. The article claims cloud seeding has been studied since the 1960s, this is impossible to get wrong due to it being a point of known, basic information that, the modern era of cloud seeding started in the 1940s. The article then states particularly in China. France 24 is known as quite a respectable news outlet, so how do they come to the conclusion that cloud seeding has been studied since the 1960s, particularly in China, when cloud seeding in France has been practiced since the early 1900s, as cloud seeding and stretching back to the 1760s through earlier methods. China started their weather modification activity in 1958 as mentioned at the beginning of this summary. This shows just how often China bad is used in the Western media. France 24 has no need to use China for reference points, as there are more than enough reference points available, from French activity since the 1950s and before.
Sailoris, Sailoris uses the Laco system, which is an advanced technologies solution that is 100% dedicated to hail risk mitigation. Sailoris claim because of climate change, storms, including hailstorms, have increased by more than 350%. They are becoming more violent, more and more difficult to predict and are striking at any time, day or night. They are causing a lot of financial and material damage. When they say climate change they probably mean, previous, decades-long, weather modification activities, that have created a tipping point error, in our natural weather systems. The LACO Smart Balloon Their description states, with LACO you'll be able to seed the clouds in less than 10 minutes. Each balloon can embark either with 23 grams of silver iodide or 220 grams of hygroscopic salts, up to 2,000 meter altitude, and fits with civil air regulations. LACO smart balloons have a microchip embedded in it, with the controls to light the flare, that will spread the agent, at the base of the cloud upon specific parameters. LACO Nomad, is a light and flexible solution for cloud seeding. LACO Sobd, is a self-operating instrument, remote-controlled solution for aerial cloud seeding. Customers of Sailoris include Hyundai, Crayson, Louis Favel, Chateau Figique as well as others. Sailoris is based in Rousset, France. Anelfa, Professor Henri Dessens founded a non-profit organization, in charge of the development of techniques of artificial weather modification, aimed at suppressing hail. This association, created in 1951, still exists and is today called the Association National d'Etude de Lutte contre les Flow Atmospherics, Association to Suppress Atmospheric Plagues. Even in Nelfa are misrepresenting data, they state, this method was created about 50 years ago, where they then go on to reference the Bergeron Schaefer and Vonnegut activity in the late 1940s, which is over 75 years ago, and is the start of the modern era of silver iodide cloud seeding and not the start of cloud seeding in general. The Analpha field activities take place each year from April to October. The target area for weather modification activity is distributed over four regions, one in central France, one in the southeast region and two in the southwest, and covering 55,000 square kilometers in total. Approximately 650 ground generators are manually operated by volunteers made up of farmers and wine growers. That was a summary of French weather modification activity. Thanks for watching, I'll be back with some more news and country summaries soon, but until then, take care. And I'll see you next time.